says moo. Kyle says moo. The, the zebra says. The zebra says what? Okay. Uh, where are we going? Going to the trip. Yeah, on a trip. We're going to the museum. Where are we going? Going to the museum. Yeah, that's where we're going. What's the last one? Detron did this. I like that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Detron Does It. Of course, I am Detron, and I does stuff. And this week, we're doing parenting stuff. So we brought our kids to the Brownsville Children's Museum. Now, I don't know if you know what Brownsville is, where it is, or what it is popular for. Neither do I. But what I do know is they have a pretty cool children's museum. So us and a friend and their kids and our kids are all headed here to Brownsville on this gloomy, overcast Wednesday morning. So look, hang out with us for a little bit. We'll show you around and I'll show you some of the cool stuff that they have inside. So as you can see here, uh, these are the hours. They're open 10 to five on most days. We got there really early because we wanted to beat the crowds. And luckily we did because by the time we decided to leave at 2 p.m., it had got really busy. So I would suggest being there as soon as the doors open at 10 a.m. One of the zones that the kids really liked was this flex air zone. It is a really simple concept, but there's a bunch of forced air through these tubes and they give you uh, some rags and some handkerchiefs and some balls that you can put inside of these tubes to push the air through and shoot out. As you can see, the kids were really having a good time. One of my favorite parts about this museum is there are tons of open space. Uh, there's also a lot of hands-on activities. So like this one here, it's a small table, enough for our four kids to be at, but it, it was enough space where they didn't have to worry about bumping into someone um, or crowding on one activity. They definitely had enough space to move around. Getting into the kitchen, it is a smaller area. So with our kids and a few other kids that were there at the time, it did start to get a little tight, uh, but that's just because the kitchen area is sort of squared off. But once you get outside of that kitchen area, there's lots of space. I mean, you can see my kid and my wife are deciding to ride a horse. They utilize this space well with their events also, which they have a whole calendar of events available on their website. So you can schedule this for birthday parties or even field trips. You did what? <laughs> One of the frequently asked questions on the website is, will my six year old enjoy this museum? While it is definitely geared toward the younger children, I think uh, you can see based on me and my wife entertaining ourselves, you can definitely have fun as an older kid. It's, uh, it's probably capped at, I don't know, 10 years old, maybe 12 years old. I think beyond that, they're probably going to get bored with some of the more um, hands-on activities that entertain toddlers or young kids. Uh, but certainly you can take someone who is six, seven, eight, nine, uh, and they should still have a pretty good time, much like our four and five-year-olds did. There's plenty of these life-size blocks to go around, and so you don't have to worry about not being able to play with them. There's definitely enough for three or four families to be able to do this activity all at the same time and not necessarily have to share. As you can see, this area is also a really nice area to get some photo ops. I was playing around with my camera, seeing what kind of cool video footage I can get uh, to share with you guys. Uh, here, you've got the HEB Buddy Market. This thing is really cool if you've got kids who like to push their shopping carts when you guys go to the grocery store or experience doing a checkout by themselves. Uh, this is enough space probably for 12, 15, 25 kids to be in all at the same time and all be in their own section and enjoy the space without it getting too cramped. So I think this is one of the uh, more interactive areas because there is the breads and the cereals and the dry foods and the cans and just so much stuff for the kids to play with. Honestly, this is the kind of museum that we enjoy taking our children to because it's so hands-on. Uh, they can really touch and interact with every Thing that's in this museum which makes it really cool and it's not very small you've got enough space again to move around I keep harping on that but it wasn't jam-packed when we were there and certainly something that could take away from that experience for the kids mm -hmm. 
So they got a chance to take a picture with Bumblebee and Batman. And again, they have a whole calendar of events that you can look on their website and see what they got going on and go and get some photo ops and really take the kids out to have some fun adventures. Here, because they don't allow food inside, we did pack some snacks, uh, some drinks and stuff for the kids, and we took them outside and let them sit by the water, and they were actually throwing treats to the birds. If you want an adventure, throw those birds some chips. It gets really wild really quick because those ducks and birds are fighting over it. Uh, here we have a hurricane simulator. So this is not included in your admission. It is $3 per time you want to use it. And it's like 60 to 90 seconds worth of really strong wind. So as you can see, the kids' hair are blowing all over the place. And it's supposed to simulate being in a hurricane. The kids really liked it. It's cold inside. It's fun. Maybe not designed for super young kids. Uh, but it was a good time. Uh, and then the construction zone. We got a chance to get down on the floor, me included, and we built stuff. We got a chance to take bolts and washers and put them together with pieces of wood and show how construction can be done with kids. There's such great learnings with this hands-on activities that they have here at the Children's Museum. And it really gave the kiddos something to, uh, to have fun with. They do have a toy store, and this toy store is actually really cool. There's lots of things in here I'm sure that your kids will enjoy. Certainly a last stop. You don't want to get it before uh, you go into the museum because then you got to hold on to it. But there's a lot of things to choose from in here and a great way to sort of wrap up your trip when you're ready to leave from the museum is grabbing a new toy for the kiddos, and it will remind them of coming to the museum every time they play with it. They also have an outdoor area where the kids can play on different play sets, slides, they have a pirate ship, there's some playground equipment out there, but it gives you a chance to get outside of the building and we chose this as our last stop after we finished up inside and it gave us an opportunity to get the kids tired before we got in the car to head back to McAllen. So it was the perfect sort of additional exercise to get out that last bit of energy that they had after they left the museum. Thanks for joining us on this trip today to the Brownsville Children's Museum. As always, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notifications button, get some alerts, find out when we're dropping new videos. And if you decide not to like, share, or subscribe, you know what? I won't even be mad at you. Till next time, guys. Peace.